Welcome back to Queen City Corals. Today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about rock flower demos. Rock flower anemones are some of the most popular anemones in the hobby, and for good reason. They've got a ton of color and they're super easy to care for. Another huge benefit of these guys is they don't walk around as much as a lot of the other anemones, like bubble tips, and for the most part, once they find a spot they like, they'll just stay there. Another really great thing about these guys is they'll only get about four inches wide, and they don't split, so you won't have them splitting and walking all over your corals and stinging stuff, and they're gonna act a lot more like a coral than an anemone. Um, in terms of stinging other corals, things like that. They are definitely still aggressive like any anemone, so you want to keep your eye on them. If it gets close to any other corals, you move those corals, or you can try to move the rock flower, but it's probably going to be a lot easier to move the other corals around it. Uh, we offer a lot of different anemones here. There's a ton of different varieties of colors. There's greens, reds, and really any color you're looking for. They're a great way to kind of get that splash of color that you're looking for if you're missing a few key colors just because there's so much variety with these guys. Rock flowers are some of the only corals that we get out of the Atlantic Ocean compared to most of them that come out of the Pacific Ocean. A lot of these guys come from the Florida Keys as well as South America and they really like lower light and lower flow but um, because they're anemones, they'll move to wherever area they like. So sometimes they'll end up in more meat, moderate or higher flow, um, as well as more moderate or higher light. That's one of the good things about caring for these guys is you don't have to worry too much about placement because they'll find a place that they like. They don't need to eat, but they definitely love to. They'll voraciously devour things like mysis, powdered foods, you can learn more about feeding corals in our feeding corals video we just posted. Um, and that kind of de details all the different ways we feed corals. And it's going to be just about the same for these guys. They have a very quick feeding response as well as they are really sticky. So if you put a piece of mysis on them, they're going to eat it up pretty quick. Um, and you don't have to worry too much about target feeding them because they are so sticky. They'll grab onto anything that floats past them. So a lot of times when you're just feeding your tank, these guys will catch some food. Again, feeding isn't necessary. It definitely will benefit them though. Um, they'll grow a little bit faster and they can also develop nicer coloration. Their colors will get deeper as well. So these guys are really neat and super easy to care for, especially since they kind of go wherever they like. In terms of nutrients, they're fine with higher nutrients, higher phosphates and nitrates, and they're not gonna really care about calcium or alkalinity. As long as it's in a healthy range between 6 to 12 on the alkalinity and 350 all the way up to 450 on the calcium, these guys are going to do just great. They won't build a skeleton or anything, so you don't need to worry about them consuming that sort of stuff. Uh, they won't really be affected by it, and they are pretty tolerant of most conditions. One thing to know about the rock flowers is they're not going to be like other anemones where the clowns will host them. Uh, they are really just going to be for looks. The clowns aren't going to really care about them. They're not going to really bother them either. Um, they're kind of neutral about them. We have a clown in this tank right now, or rock flower tank, and he just kind of swims around. He's not really bothered by the anemones. He doesn't really host them compared to when we have him in with bubble tips. He'll normally host them, play around in them, but with the rock flowers, he's kind of just ignores them um, and swims out, hangs around. Uh, so one thing to note is definitely that your clowns aren't going to host them, they're just going to look pretty. The first thing to do when you get them is going to be to acclimate them properly. What I recommend is taking the bag that they're in and floating them in the aquarium for about 20 to 30 minutes. This will temperature acclimate them and make sure they're the same temperature as your water. The next step is going to be to check your salinity as well as the salinity in the bag. Now with rock flower anemones as well as other anemones, you typically don't need to dip them. There's not going to be any sort of base for any eggs or parasites to live on. And the only real contaminant that could enter your tank would be some sort of bacterial infection. These are pretty rare and usually you can tell because the rock flower will not be doing very well. It'll have a gaping mouth or a torn foot. And in that case, it's 
what I recommend is dipping it in a product like Cipro. You can order this online and there's tons of different guides out there on how to dip it. Um, but typically this is not going to be necessary and you're good to go ahead as long as your rock flower looks nice and healthy. Just put it in the tank in a spot that you like. I also recommend turning off any power heads as well as the return pump for about 10 to 15 minutes just so that way when the anemone starts moving and gets attached to the rock it doesn't walk into a pump and it makes it a little bit easier for it to attach as well instead of having it rustling around in the flow. It's easier for it to grab onto the rock or the sand whichever location it prefers and really anchor itself in and be nice and happy. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about rock flower anemones. They're definitely my favorite anemone just because they're so easy to care for and they come in so many colorful varieties. They are super easy to keep and they're going to make a perfect anemone for your tank if you're looking to add one. If you guys have any other questions about anemones, you can leave them in the comments below and subscribe so make sure you stay up to date whenever we post a new video um, we'll have a bunch more care videos coming out soon as well as a new store tour showing you guys all the additions we've made including this brand new tank here including a few other tanks as well um, if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and i will see you in the next one